Hello children, uh, welcome back uh, to another session for your ICSE physics. Uh, today, uh, as you see the topic on your screen, we are to, uh, going to deal with refraction through a lens. So we have already covered a topic called refraction through plane surfaces. So today we are going to deal with the surface which is not a plane but instead of plane it is curve. Okay, so before we proceed with the lens, let us understand the concept behind lens. Now see, you have a sphere. Okay, now if you are confused what is a sphere and when I say sphere and I'm drawing a circle here. So this is the sphere which I'm drawing in a two-dimensional um, figure as a two-dimensional figure so when I say spear you can just think or uh, imagine about a basketball or a volleyball or a football all right so now what I <clears throat> what I did is here I took two spears okay and I overlapped them understand I overlapped them so this is my first situation number a in the second situation I what I do is I take two spears okay I take two spears but I keep them two spears near to each other okay I'll get my point in a here you see that two spears are overlapping but here the two spears are uh, not overlapping but they are near to each other but they are not physically in touch okay so what I do here is that in my figure a what will I do is I will just keep the part which is overlapping understand so I'm just keeping the part which is overlapping so I get uh, this kind of figure understand so it is bounded by two curved surface here isn't it one surface is here other surface is here are you getting my point similarly here in number B what I do is I will fill the gap okay I'll fill the gap in between these two spheres okay and I'll just keep this filled part are you getting my point so this is how i got another lens so this is how we get a lens so that is why you have a definition in your book as well that a lens is a transparent refractive medium bounded by either two spherical surfaces or one surface which is spherical and the other surface may be plane so here you see that if you see properly the sides or you can say the periphery okay periphery if you compare the periphery okay of these two lenses here you'll see that okay you will see that in the figure number a here you will see that the center here the center here is thick the center here is thick whereas the periphery is thin understand but if you see here in figure number b you will see that the center of the lens is thin whereas the periphery as you move away from the center you'll see that it is thick what is it it is thick but here it is thin so if you have a lens which is thicker at the center but as you move to the periphery it becomes thin that kind of lens <coughs> is called convex lens understand what we call it convex lens convex lenses are also called as converging lens okay converging lens understand here you see that there is a lens which is thin at the center but thicker at the periphery this kind of lens is called as concave lens what do you call it concave lens concave lens is also called as diverging lens are you getting my point? What do we call it? Diverging lens. Okay. Now, uh, let let us see the see now. Generally, uh, on general, you saw that lenses are of two types. One is concave, other one is convex. Okay, broadly. But if you want to go in detail, okay, you can further classify convex lens into three more. Okay, convex lens into three more lenses okay so one you may have like this okay one 
you may have in this way and the other one you may have a convex lens in this way you understand so similarly concave for concave okay you might have a lens which looks somewhat like this understand and somewhat like this and like this so here you see both the sides are what convex both of them are what both the sides of the lens okay both the boundaries are what convex so how many convex sides are there two so we can call it as bi convex lens but here in the second image you'll see that this side is plain okay this side is plain whereas this side is convex so we can call this as plano convex plano convex lens but here you see that in the third figure here you see that this side is convex whereas this side is concave yes so this you can call it as concave convex concave convex all right now if you see for your concave you'll see that this side is also concave this one is also concave so two concave boundaries so by concave lens this is by concave lens but here in the second figure you see that this side is plain this side is plain whereas this side is concave so we'll call this as plano concave lens understand but if you see the third one you'll see that this side is concave whereas this side is convex so this will be called as convexo concave lens okay so in total you can see here that in total okay you have three biconvex lens plano convex lens concave con uh, convex lens then you have bi concave lens plano concave lens and convexo concave lens all right now here you see that in your concave convex one side is convex other side other one other boundary is concave similarly here also one side is concave other side is convex so you might have a little confusion regarding this isn't it regarding concave convex and convex so concave in both these two uh, both the lenses you have one boundary as concave and the other boundary as convex but how you are you going to de determine whether it is concave or convex or convex or concave again you know the definition of lens convex lens when do we call it convex lens when it is thicker thicker at the center okay and thinner at the periphery so here concave or convex will be thicker at the center but as you move to the periphery it will become thinner understand but here in convex or con uh, concave what will happen it will be thinner at the center but as you move to the periphery it will be thinner so that is why it is your convex or concave lens and all right so you can easily distinguish between concave or convex and convex or concave by their uh, you can say appearance okay by your uh, by the action or how it is going to uh, or you can say um, uh, the action of the rays okay when the rays are passing through this lens what will be the uh, or how will be the refraction occur all right you can just say that okay these two lenses differ in their shape okay differ in their shape as well as in their action so this shape and action okay differentiates between a concave convex lens and a convex concave lens all right yes i hope you have understood this right now let's learn about some technical terms which are related to a lens so here i have drawn two lenses okay lens one is convex lens and the other one is concave lens so the part which is filled with the red color is your lens okay now you know that a lens is a part of a two uh, what spheres 
two spheres means when we say a sphere it will have some center so let me show you the center so this is my center c1 isn't it yes and this is my center c2 similarly for concave also i have two spheres and this is my center c1 and this is my center c2 so this center okay center <coughs> of the sphere okay whose part is the lens or you can say that the center of the sphere okay this is my sphere the center of the sphere okay of which my lens is a part your lens the your do it a sphere le bon next and so the center of this sphere is called center okay center of curvature what do we call it center of curvature so similarly for concave also these are my two spheres okay my two spheres okay and this is the concave lens okay and this lens is the part of these two spheres and the center of these two spheres is called the center of curvature so here c1 and c2 are the center of curvatures all right so i hope you have understood now uh, before we learn radius of curvature uh, let us uh, learn the principal axis now what is principal axis principal axis is a straight line which joins the two center of curvature so here i am drawing with the blue color here so this is my center uh, sorry principal axis okay so the line joining the uh, center of centers of the curvature of the two surface of the lens is called center what radius of curvature so you can write the definition of center radius uh, principal axis from your uh, book okay now let's learn radius of curvature now what is radius of curvature now you know uh, for a circle what is radius radius is the distance from the uh circumference to the center isn't it from the uh, circumference to the center this is called radius isn't it what do you call it radius so similarly in case of lens also the same distance as we consider in uh, uh circle will be considered as a radius of curvature understand clear but here what we will do is that we will drop our line here like this okay are you able to see here okay uh, let me draw a bigger one okay so here i have a convex lens i have the principal axis here i have center of curvature here i have center of curvature for the second surface okay i drop a line here understand a perpendicular line okay and this line is intersecting the principal axis at this point which is called optical center denoted by o i will teach uh, you about this in my uh, next page okay so i have a concave lens here okay this is my center of curvature for the first surface this is my second center of curvature for the second surface i drop a normal here from on the principal axis this uh, intersection is called optical center so now what is our radius okay of curvature now radius of curvature is nothing but the distance okay but the distance from the optical center okay from the optical center to the center of curvature so from here to here this is my radius of curvature all right so this distance for your concave lens this distance is called the radius of curvature all right so three terms we have learned till now one the first one that we learned is center of curvature then we learned about principal axis then we learned about radius of curvature and i have said that there is a point called optical center now what is optical center let me explain to you all okay so for this uh, let me draw the lens again so i'm drawing the lens again here this is my principal axis all right now what is the principal uh, sorry optical center 
what is my optical center so let me explain uh, side by side for both the lenses okay for concave lens as well as for convex lens okay so this is my c2 so here is my c1 here is my c1 and here is my c2 that is center of curvature here all right now my blue color is my incident ray okay so suppose say i have my incident ray here striking on the striking on the lens understand so i'm drawing simultaneously okay both for concave and convex lens so you know that after refraction what will happen it will bend towards the normal if i draw a normal here understand and it will what will happen it will come out isn't it yes in this way okay i think yes i think it's not uh, looking clear no let me draw it again okay okay now first let me do with the convex lens so i have my incident ray here okay this is my incident ray now what will happen it will bend like this understand so this is my in what refracted ray are you getting my point and this is my emergent ray so here you see that refraction is taking place at two uh, two points or two surfaces here and here understand but if there was no lens this would be the original path of the incident ray isn't it yes so here you see that the refracted ray here this refracted ray is intersecting or passing through the optical center at this point so that point okay at which the refracted ray crosses the or intersects the principal axis is called optical center denoted by O. Denoted by O. So similarly for your concave lens also if I have my uh, incident ray here this is my refracted sorry this is my refracted ray okay and it comes out like this then so there is a little bit shift so this see basically now what we are trying to learn is the point okay through which the refracted ray intersects the principal axis is called optical center that is what you need to understand are you getting my point yes now see generally the lens that we use or that we learn in uh, ICAC physics we will take a very very thin lens and the entire definition of optical center changes when you are taking a thin lens all right now when you are taking a thin lens at that time what will happen the definition of the optical center will be it is the point on the principal axis so that when a ray is passing through or directed towards it it passes undeviated means if i have my convex lens okay so if this is my point on the principal axis O, then if a ray is directed towards it it will pass undeviated undeviated okay so that is for convex lens if i draw a concave lens so this is the point at this point if a ray is directed it passes undeviated and this point is called the optical center but this is applicable only when you are taking a very very thin lens understand so what we did here is we just overlooked the refraction that is taking place at the two surfaces understand at the two surfaces now why we are doing this because you see that there is actually a slight what displacement of the rays isn't it means it is just like the lateral displacement that we learnt in the uh, glass slab isn't it so there is a lateral lateral shift so this lateral shift will decrease as the thickness of the lens decreases so that is why when we are taking a very very thin lens what happens we can overlook the very very small lateral displacement or the lateral shift that is taking place when a ray is passing all right so now from now on onwards you can just remember that in uh, icsc physics we are assuming a lens which is very very thin and we take the point on the principal axis inside the lens and that point is the point when a ray is directed towards it it passes undeviated and that point is called as optical center what do you call it optical center so this is our fourth technical term that we are 
supposed to use when we are studying lens. All right. Now, next number fifth technical term that we are going to learn is your foci. Okay, principle foci. Now, what is it? See, now we we are learning lens. A lens has two surfaces and light can enter or pass through the lens from both the sides from both the surfaces isn't it so that is why you will have two focus or two focal point on the principal axis understand so that is why we call it as principal foci this is the foci or foci in whatever um, pronunciation you want to make you can make it it's up to you okay what i say is foci okay or you can say foci also doesn't matter so uh, foci is the ruler okay singular is focus are you getting my point so i have my principal axis i have my lens concave uh, convex lens i have my principal axis i have my concave lens okay so here I have my optical center here I have my optical center this is my optical center now what is first focus so you'll have two separate definition for convex lens and for concave lens so for convex lens convex lens what are we learning we are learning first focal point okay what are we learning first focal point now for a convex lens first focal point is a point okay on the principal axis of the lens so it is a point on the principal axis of the lens f1 okay such that rays emerging from this okay i'm drawing two rays emerging from this point after refraction through the convex lens becomes parallel to the principal axis so here you see that they are parallel to the principal axis so this point this point on the principal axis is called the first focal length for convex lens understand now for concave lens now for concave lens it is the point on the principal axis f1 such that the rays okay which are directed towards it see here I'm drawing two rays which, which are directing towards this point okay they are directing towards this point but after refraction it becomes parallel to the principal axis this point on the principal axis is called the first focal point or simply first focus is that okay first focus understood okay now let's learn the second focus or second focal point now again let me draw the lens i have a lens here optical center o i have my principal axis okay i have my concave lens here okay this is my optical center okay now what is my second focal point so again i have to learn for convex lens and I have to learn for concave lens separately, isn't it? Now, if there are rays which are parallel to the principal axis for a convex lens, after refraction, it, okay, it passes through a point on the principal axis. That point is called the second focus. What do you call it? Second focus similarly for concave lens if you have a parallel beam of light or two parallel rays okay directed towards the concave lens what will happen after refraction it will diverge because it is a diverging lens but when you produce it backward you'll see that okay okay it diverges out in this way but when you produce this rays backward it will meet okay when you produce this rays back what it will meet on the principal axis this point is called the second focus are you getting my point second focus now one thing to be remembered here is here in this one you say uh, you saw here that the first focus for the convex lens is on the left side of the lens whereas first focus 
for the concave lens is on the right side of the lens. Similarly, the second focus is on the right side for the convex lens, whereas it is on the left side of the lens for the concave lens. So please remember this. Okay. Now, after this, what you need to learn is the focal plane. Now, what is focal plane? Focal plane is the okay line okay which is passing through the first focus see focal plane again you will have two types one is first focal okay first focal plane now what is first focal plane so it is a plane passing through the first focus so it is a plane like this which is perpendicular to the principal axis so this is my first focal plane which is perpendicular to the principal axis and it is passing to the first focus similarly second second focal plane now what is second focal plane it is a plane okay it is a <coughs> plane which is passing through the second focus which is what perpendicular to the second focal point so similarly here i'll have the focal plane so this is my second focal plane is that okay now comes your focal length now what is the focal length so focal length is the distance <coughs> from the optical center of the lens to its first focal plane or the focal point you can call it so again now since you see that a lens has two refracting surfaces okay or it has two surfaces through which a ray can pass so that is why you are having two center of curvatures you are having uh, <coughs> two focal point okay and you are having two focal plane similarly you will have two focal length now what is focal length it is a distance from the optical center to the focus so since here I have second focus, so this will be my second focal length. So focal length is the distance from the optical center to the focus. So here I have my second focus, so this will be my second focal length. Second focal length. So here I have my first focus. This is my first focus. So from the distance from the optical center to the first focus similarly here for concave lens the distance from the optical center to the first focus is called is called okay first focal length is that okay let me now recall the things that we have done today first we dot uh, we have done center of curvature right then we did radius of curvature so radius of curvature picture what did we do we do it principal axis isn't it we did principal axis after principal axis we learnt about optical center optical center okay then the fifth was your four Focus. Now, since you have two, isn't it? So we call it at foci. Okay, that was your first first focal point and second focal point. Yes, center of curvature is denoted by C. Okay, optical center is denoted by O. First focus is denoted by F1. Second focus is denoted by F2. All right, then comes your focal focal plane focal plane and plane when you have first focal plane and second focal plane then lastly you learnt about focal length again you have first focal length denoted by small letter f1 and you have second focal length denoted by f2 so these are the things that you have learned today so now your assignment for today is to write the definitions of all this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 10 different terms that we have learned today
okay so that's all for today in the next video we'll be learning about the array diagrams or you have to learn about the formation of image when an object is kept in front of a lens all right so that's all for today thank you